All right, everyone, here we go with the weekly reading. Week of March 5th through the 11th, 2023. It's a big week. Saturn moves into Pisces on the 7th, same day as the full moon. Wow. I'll pull on both of those. I'll be pulling on the full moon on Sunday. And probably Saturn on Tuesday, the 7th. I want to pull right on top of it. The teacher is back in the room. Okay, here we go. It's one card for each sign with a pre-shuffle. Again, same as Friday. You're all attached. You're all connected. It's all You're all part of a cycle. In this reading, I clarify and I ask what actions they're likely to take towards you. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Again, I remind you I'm not a time lord or the warlock on the hill. There is no time in the energy, so this might happen this week for some of you, next week, week after, week, last week, I don't know, okay? But this is what's going on. When I ask the universe, give me the soulmate cycle, uh, what actions the runner is likely to take, what's going to happen here, which way is the energetic wind blowing on the 5th through the 11th of March, 2023, my pre-shuffle, just me talking to the universe, surface energy is powerful, justice crossed by the tower, a king of cups, and a Knight of Pentacles. That is your pre-shuffle. The Knight of Pentacles bookending justice. It's a reckoning. It's Saturn. It's all about Saturn here. The teacher is back in the room. The kids are screwing around, yelling and screaming, spitballs, all kinds of paper airplanes being thrown. The teacher comes back. Everybody clamor to a chair. Somebody here is come, justice come a crashing down. The tower is crossing justice. All right. It, it just happens. It hits them like a ton of bricks. Oh, I love them. And it's taking a spell. This is a slow energy that could have been going a lot faster. It always can. All right? It always can be. Yeah. It hits them like a ton of bricks. Avoid, it's someone who's been trying to avoid the unavoidable. Mm, it's about what I expected. Oh, that Saturn reading is going to be very interesting. Although, I wouldn't discount the full moon reading either. I'll tell you that. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's give the deck a shuffle. Let's pull a reading. I'm going to clarify with the witches. Pay attention to everything that falls on the table. This is a huge reading. I have pre-taken my Advil, I assure you. It's my job to sort it all out. It's your job to sit back and enjoy the reading and try to make sense of whatever the fuck I'm saying. Uh, I do my best. This is tricky energy right here this month. I said it would be, too. It will, It and it is. Give me the soulmate cycle, universe, what actions the uh, runner likely to take, which way is the energetic wind blowing from March 5th through the 11th, 2023. Let's go. One card for each sign and an overall energy. Here we go. Let's do this. Overall energy is the high priestess. It's a whole lot of wait for it. And, and what I mean is wait for it like that. All right? That's what I mean. There's a lot of hidden energy here. There's a lot happening underneath the surface. And you saw the tower, right? This is your reading. So that would imply in another layer of energy that some of that justice comes your way. It comes like a ton of bricks. It comes rather suddenly from someone who's been dilly-dallying, trying to avoid the unavoidable. All right, here we go. Ah, our story begins with Aries, ends with Pisces. Everything matters. For most of you, this ain't, this ain't your horoscope. Don't pay attention to the signs. I'd rather just call them 1 through 12, but you know I don't want to confuse people. But at least 9 out of the 12 should resonate with you. I'll have the universe added up at the end. It's just a big exploded all signs reading, that's all. There's text in the description for anybody new who needs timestamps. If you need timestamps, stop that. Uh, Aries, let's go. I'm, I'm anxious to get started. Queen of Swords. Somebody here is taking a decisive action but it's it's a little bit i'm not even going to say cold i know you thought i was going to say cold and detached it's not it's just decisive i don't it, it, it definitely this could have been any owl with a sword why is the queen of swords here why is the queen of swords here and again <clears throat> the realization on their side happens rather suddenly, and I think it leads to sudden change. That tower had a lot of energy around it. What's going on here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Crossing the Queen of Swords is victory after a long battle. Yeah, somebody thinks too much time has passed. It's been a long time. I, I better not dilly-dally anymore. It's weird. That Justice card that was bookending with the uh, Knight of Pentacles and the pre-shuffle, 
it, it turns it it just turns it right around I mean it's just it speeds up that night it's it's unreal okay all right, six of wands, nice. I like that. What's on top? The emperor. That's who. Somebody's taking control of their emotions. And now I'm I'm not saying you're getting a balanced emperor coming towards you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying somebody's taking control of their emotions. Somebody is. It's a bit like what I said yesterday in the Friday reading about how somebody here is coming in for rather selfish reasons they might want to just just because of that ten of swords energy that that was there that cancerian position I took a screen grab of that reading because I knew it would be important because um, I forget them afterward why is the Emperor here yeah the eight of cups again uh, somebody's taking control of their emotions and just they they feel bad these are eight broken cups they want some satisfaction. They want to walk toward the Nine Cups. The Emperor is walking toward Nine Cups. They come in your way. It's a rather decisive action. Will it happen this week? I still say it not likely to happen. It's happening. These lessons are happening. The Tower from the pre-shuffle is happening this week. For sure. With Saturn's move. Definitely. And the Full Moon. Definitely. Uh, the action, the actual conversation, I still say not till Mercury hits Aries. Okay? Not till, in, in the case of Aries here, not till Mercury's in your sign. But it's coming. Mm-hmm. 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 Obviously, I can't predict free will, but the energy says it's coming. Taurus, but hey. Five cups. Wow. Wow. That's a sad horse. I used to say all the time, my first year out here it takes a long it takes a lot to make a horse sad mm. I had someone who knows about horses tell me that early on uh, yeah mm. it takes a lot this person here is having to face some hard truths whoever this person is let's see what actions it's likely to lead to the five of cups is one of the cards that ends the separation phase in the soulmate cycle usually does it's a catalyst for it you get to this point why is the five cups here why 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 six swords yeah got to got to fix it it's all just coming up this way they got to fix this got to do something can't sit in this got to move on to calmer waters they're being pushed here to come here and fix something to come to move out of the this is the choppy water this is them the environmental energy moving away from it all right have to what's on top ace of cups that's why emotions are flowing this, this, this horse isn't just sad, it's crying, right? For what it lost, for what it could have had, for what it walked away from, whatever it was. Uh, they're all in their fields. You know from a recent Twin Flame reading that, you know, <clears throat> they're, you're their focus. Primary focus is the DF and, and the feelings are flowing. Mercury driving through Pisces, sitting in the subconscious, you know, hypnotizing them, bringing up everything that they carpet swept. Yeah, emotions are flowing. Why is the Ace of Cups here? That's why. The Magician. It's, called, it's an energy of transformation. It's an energy of somebody who, at least in this brief energy, has puts their ego down and pulls up their big boy, big girl pants and has the confidence at least to admit to themselves that, they, that they're sad. And that's a first step. That's a nice first step. All right, that's that's best we can expect in this week when Saturn, the teacher, comes back to the class. This is like the the, the teacher comes back and the student feels bad for all the spitball things that, that that are now on the wall that they spit up there while the teacher was out. Yeah, yeah, they probably did metaphorically hit you with a bunch of spitballs in some way. Gemini, position three, the fool. Somebody's restarting something. Mm. This doesn't feel like a fool on a new level. Why is the fool here? Mm. This feels like this feels like Flem the parrot, who had a birthday yesterday, by the way. I forgot to mention it on the Friday reading, but this feels like Flem the parrot. Flem, most most birds, like him, his eclectic parrot nature, right? Uh, go off the you know they they, they wean at at the. Uh, 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 what, what, at, at the aviary, right? They wean the babies and get them so they can eat and then they go out to their owner, right? Flem the parrot stayed an extra two months. It took an extra two months to wean him. And, and I know him, having had him for 20 years now, I know him and I know he did that on purpose. 
I know he was just, he, fig he figured if they're going to spoon feed me, I'm not going anywhere. This is easy. This is great. Because that's exactly his personality. Uh, he totally would have done that. That's this bird here. It's somebody who's really stuck, can't get past, loves you, loves the idea of you, but can't get past the spoon feeding they get on their side, the security or whatever it represents. All right? So you got you, you got Flem the your your soulmate is Flem the parrot, okay? I remember. I remember that breeder saying, "Never seen anything like it." Yeah, yeah. Haven't known him for twenty years. I bet you haven't. All right, here we go. The fool. <laughs> Jesus, unreal. All right, three three of cups crossing it. Yeah, there's a third energy here that keeps sucking them back in, okay? In the Gemini angle, and if this it doesn't matter what your sign is. If this resonates with you, if this sounds like your person, this is for you. Doesn't matter what your sign, their sign, anybody's sign is. I'm not a fucking astrologer. I'm just reading energy. I'm just taking a soulmate cycle and cutting it into 12 pieces. That's all. It's just an all signs reading. On top, uh, Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. But if you are a Gemini, pay attention. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, keeping them stuck. It's my stop night here. Okay. Keeping them stuck. Well, yeah, I said. What did I say? Rewind. Flam the parrot. Yeah, I know that bird. I know it didn't take it. He was perfectly fine t at the regular time two months before. He stayed an extra two months because he figured, hell, I'll just pretend that, you know, I still need the spoon. It's This is great. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. If there was a spa in Beverly Hills that would have a mascot parrot, he'd be it. I'll tell you that right now. What's... What's red with the Knight of Pentacles? The Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah. This person, something, some third energy keeps this person stuck. Okay? Either it talks them around or it's, it, it's, it, it's alluring. They like the spoon feeding. So they're going to stay in the nest an extra couple of months. You know, oh, if I, how long can I milk this kind of a thing? It's not really what they're thinking. They just like the security. They're afraid to go out. Afraid to venture in that water. That's all. Something keeps talking this person around, holding them back. Cancer, the hot spot of the connection cycle. You're all honorary cancers here. Of, of all the cards, if you're playing the astrology, this is your all signs card. It bookends Aries over here. You ready? Ten swords. You see that? I did not know that was there. I had no way of knowing. And you know that. That was the Friday card that Cancer got from another deck. I think it was the Light Seer. It's right there. Again, same fucking thing. Same thing. Unreal. It's ten swords. This person does not want this to be over. But they've got them. They have some kind of fucking relationship with the truth like nothing I've ever seen. Unreal. I'm going to just clarify it. I, I, honest to God. Mm. On, now they're convincing themselves that you're going to reject them and they can't take that. Right? That's, that's what it is. It's bookending the Queen of Swords. They're afraid they're going to meet the Queen of Swords at the door. Something along those lines. Um, they're so full of shit. Why is that read like lice? Lice. It's all lice. What's going on here? Jesus. Holy crap. Ten of Swords. Twice in a row. It, not only in what they're thinking and feeling, but what actions they're going to take. Jesus. Okay. All right, it's crossed by the hermit. Oh, oh, my God, holy crap. The energy around their soul is screaming at them that it's not over. It's like, it's, it's like you're on the Titanic. You went back in time, and you're on the Titanic, and it's before it left England, right? It's before it left on its journey from England to New York, and... You, you, you get on the ship, you stand there at the, at the boarding thing and you're yelling at people, no, 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 it's going to sink. I'm from the future. It's going to sink. Well, first of all, you're going to get locked up in a straitjacket if you start yelling you're from the future. You might want to leave that out. But it's like they're not listening. They're just walking past you and getting on the ship and all excited and putting down their bags and all that kind of stuff. Nobody's paying attention. The universe is screaming at this person. It's not over. And again, it's crickets chirping. Okay. All right. 
And I think that that applies to everybody on some level. Maybe not that extreme, but definitely on some level. What's on top? Ten swords. Okay, see, come on. No, it's over. What did I just say? The universe is screaming. It, it's not over. The base energy is, it's over. That, that's what they're telling themselves. And this is their reply to the universe. No, it's over. It's too late. I blew it. Yeah, that's a cop-out. That's an easy cop-out. It, it is. It's so easy. Oh, well, it's too late. Whatever. You know, it's such a cop-out. What a quitter. I don't like quitters. Just, you know, just, ah. Okay, so you've learned something here. You've learned never to, never to tell people you're from the future. And you've learned always to listen to your intuition. And the damn DF knows that. Okay, the DM just, ah, why is the Ten Swords here? Two swords, two truths, two truths. It, there's their, this is your person. There's two truths with this person. There's the real truth and the truth that they believe. And one of them sends them off on a bad angle. Oh, I got nothing more to say. I got nothing more to say to that except maybe there's a cure for cancer reading coming up soon. Because that's, da. Okay, Leo. Oh, my God. Unreal. The, the ship's going to sink. Why are you people still getting on the boat? I said it's going to sink. You said you were from the future. You're crazy. Okay. Queen of Cups for Leo. Ah, oh, Leo, Leo, Queen of Cups. I know. I know, right? I told them about your birthday. I know I'm a day late. That's okay. Um, Queen of Cups. I don't know. I, I don't know why that's here. I don't. I, I would love to tell you somebody's coming to give you a cup. I know they're in their fields. I, I just, I can't translate that energy. It's so flippy floppy. It's, it's, oh, I'm drawn to the little star, much like it happens sometimes on the page where I, I make Ireland cry and I sing, you know, uh, uh, you know, nothing compares to you with redneck Sinead, right? It's the same kind of thing. This person is trying, it wants out of their toxic situation and is trying to find anyone else to give, it, to give their love to except you because it would be very difficult for them to have to swallow their pride and come toward you. Or maybe a lot of time has passed. Very similar to what I'm getting off the cancer reading, although this person is much more in touch with their feelings at the moment. Okay? Let's see here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Tell me more about this. What's going on, witches? Come on now. All right. Oh, okay. So this ties with Aries' uh, position over here because I got the same crossing card, Six of Wands. The environmental energy around this person is victory. But they're, they're looking... This is that... Uh, oh, God, it's an old country song, right? I always do the Saturday Night Live version where Eddie Murphy did some kind of twerk, twerk on it or tweak on it with, uh, with the... Uh, anyway, with the... Uh, Oh, God, I can't think of the name anymore. Anyway, it's uh, looking for love in all the wrong places. This person is just looking for anywhere to give this love to and, and just because you would be difficult. Yeah. Some, okay, the heart chakra is open, though. What's on top? Yeah, that's why. That's why. The devil, they all look. What did I say? Rewind. Why am I your second favorite energy? I have no idea. What? I said looking for love in all the wrong places, right? It, it, it's, it's right there. Oh. It's the devil. They, they're giving it, and it's right where she's giving the cup, too. Gives the full cup, holds the ace of cups. Always to the wrong things. This person has some kind of weird, the energy that this, the person that this energy belongs to, whoever it is, has some kind of need for attention. Like, like they care about what other people think, that, but they have some kind of need to get compliments from other people. It's almost like it's somebody who continually needs to be complimented and their friends might coddle them. You know, you might even see it on social media where someone will just say something nice about them kind of a thing. It's like that. Like a f f some kind of fragile little, I have no idea. Why is the devil here? Doing my best. Queen of Cups. Yeah, double Queen of Cups. Yeah, but it's empty. Right? The devil is here because it's my cup full of sand. It's my desert queen. They give love to the wrong place and then wonder why, they, why they're miserable. Yet they're trying to find anyone other than you to give the love to. When in reality, they should be giving it to you. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Right? Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
All right. I forget which one Eddie Murphy did. Wook and Penub and all. It was one of those Our Gang characters that he was mocking. Anyway, uh, Virgo. Because <laughs> that's the version that's ringing in my head. I, I want to call him Alfalfa, but it's not Alfalfa. It's some other one. Anyway, uh, what's right here? Someone will tell me, I'm sure. Uh, it's, the, it's the chariot for Virgo. Jesus. Virgo. Virgo. Something, something big is coming towards you. It's, you. it's almost within sight. I don't know what. It's not a runner attached to you. But there is some wicked forward movement coming for you. And it, 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 and it plays a, playing a big starring role in it is Saturn's move into uh, Pisces for you. Uh, let's clarify. Tell me about this chariot. Wow. What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. It's crossed by the Six of Pentacles. It's just a beautiful energy. It's a balanced energy. It's nice. Something's about to even out for Virgos for sure, man. You should have seen their monthly reading. Uh, Six of Cups. Actually, their last few monthly readings. Six of Cups. It, it's a soulmate stampede. But it could imply, with all the energy that's here, it could imply a new soul's true purpose for you. A new path of destiny. Something that happens. Uh, it could be a promotion. could be a, a, an opportunity to do something that you wouldn't normally get to do. But for some reason, the opportunity is presented to you. It's possible. All of that is possible. Why is the Six of Cups here? Seven of, seven of Swords. Oh, yeah. It's a bit of a reward. It's a card of deception. The, the six of, Something about you were lied to before. You learned something from that. So that corrects. So in other words, it'll never happen to you again. And because of that, you've kind of self-corrected around. So in other words, if your runner did something to you and made you feel a certain way or was manipulative in some way. Anyway, something here you've learned from all your past experiences and you've become pretty wise. You, 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 you know, uh, again, you, you've done well. The Six of Pentacles here, this is very balanced energy coming towards you. I like it. Mm. There is a runner attached to you, though, who's, full, who's pretty full of shit. I can say that. Uh, but you're beyond that. You're past that. They can't catch the chariot. They're no longer even on your path, shall we say. Whatever that is, there's something much better for you ahead. And the lessons you've learned in the past will serve you well. You'll be able to spot bullshit a mile out in fog. Uh, Libra, eight swords. Mm, somebody's very much in their head about you. This doesn't imply, this is very strange for Libra, this does not imply communication. Not by any means. If it is, it's very confused and scattered communication. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Uh, well, I, I get somebody really over, over, overthinking about you. And when we do that, we run into problems. Right? I got an energy that wants to come towards you. But when we overthink, we psych ourselves out. And we can mess up. I to, that's why I tell people stay neutral for outcomes. Whether, especially if it's something like a job interview or asking someone out or anything you're nervous about. Stop thinking about it. Think about it as much as you need to to get your sort of head together on what you need to say and then stop. You overthink it. Whew. It's just like anything. You know, if you are overthinking something you want to do, you can overthink it and find too many reasons not to do it. Mm -hmm. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Tell me about it. Oh, you really want me to shuffle for this. What the hell? Uh, eight swords crossed by eight swords. Yeah, there's somebody here is is thinking about you, overthinking about you, and then thinking about themselves, overthinking about you. They're just in an environment of sixteen swords. I mean, it's unreal. I've never seen anything like it. This 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 butterfly don't have a chance. What's going on on top? Knight of Wands. Um, <laughs> I was going to I was going to use the. Uh, um, analogy of the of the plane that you had when you were a kid and you wind up the propeller backwards and let it go but the image that came in my head came in because I just watched with some friends the other day that, that old Superman 2 movie and there was a point where I think he I don't remember which one it was whether it was non or General Zod or somebody he picked him up in the street and started spinning him around and chucked him up on top of a building I think it was non and he chucked him on top of a building, right? This is that moment. All of this is the spinning. 
and building up momentum, all this overthinking actually leads to someone charging in your way. But I think they put in their I think they put their foot in their mouth a little bit with the page of wands. Why is the knight of wands here? All right. So again, there's a buildup of momentum here through all this overthinking. Overthinking. Somebody finally snaps and says, "Fuck it, I can't think about this anymore. I'm just going to go talk to Libra." And it comes out a little childish, I think. I think it does. I think that's I, I get em emotional immaturity here, and I definitely get it here, of course. So, okay. So yeah, you might get, again with Libra, you might get some communication. Somebody's got the intention to do it. They're just thinking about it too much. Overthinking, overthinking. Jesus. Oh my God. It wasn't curiosity that killed the cat, that old saying. It was overthinking too much. He missed the mouse. He starved to death. Scorpio, two cups. Didn't you get the lovers yesterday, if I remember from my screen grab correctly? Yeah. Now you got two cups. Wow. Um, again, expect a major flip. Okay, there's something happening with your energy. All of a sudden now, where people were intimidated to talk to you, possibly your energy a little bit intimidating. Scorpio's very deep and all that kind of stuff. Scorpio about to become the bell of the ball here as far as people expressing how they feel and things like that. Why is the two of cups here? Why? Why? Mm hmm. That's my theme song. It's crossed by the Three of Wands. It's our guy looking out over the Empress ship again. Mm -hmm. um, it's just an energy of very soon. Uh, there's a lot of people rethinking their opinion on you. Okay? Re uh, giving you a bit of a second look. Mm -hmm. That's good. Could be jobs. Could be soul's true purpose. Could just as easily be that. Or it could be that runner. Or it could be people around you that treat you like crap, and they treat you like crap the same reason a, uh, 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 an eight-year-old boy that likes a girl treats the girl like crap. Because they're emotionally immature, they're intimidated by you, they don't know how to process the feelings. Now all of a sudden they do. And they're showing up. What's on top? King of Swords. Yeah, there's some kind of truth you realize about yourself that's coming into play here. Why is the King of Swords here? The Hangman, what did I tell you? I read the energy first. Then I pull the cards. Cards are just pretty pictures for you. It's a hangman's hey, new perspective. Some kind of new perspective on yourself. You're going to realize the power you have very, very soon. You're going to realize, well, you might realize how important you are. It could be. This applies to all of you. You're all connected, part of a cycle, but I am pulling on this particular angle here. It's important to understand that you guys are learning something from all this too. The runners are resistant to these lessons. You're not. The potential for growth right now here in March is huge. It's, it's gigantic. The teacher's coming back to the room. There's new lessons, big, deep lessons. And with Mercury sitting in Pisces at the same time, stuff from your subconscious is coming up too. It changes your outward energy. And like energy attracts like energy. That, those changes mean different. you attract different things. You know, where if you were, if you were attracting crap before, you won't now. You know, because you've got this self-assuredness here. Beautiful. All right. Sexitarius. Here we go. Are you separate from all this or what? I don't know. Yesterday you were blueberry pie. Four of pentacles. Oh, Jesus. Fucking Sagittarius. Always the most challenging angle, I swear. All right. Why is uh, four of pentacles here? I don't know. I, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told you yesterday around what, whatever the hell card you got. I remember what I said. I don't remember the card. But I'm going to tell you. Slow your roll. All right? Fear is a good thing. This is holding back out of fear. Okay? It's my card of the miser. They're afraid to spend the money. The miser takes it too far, though. So they live in a shack, but they got $10 million in a, in a mattress or buried in the backyard. They don't, you don't have to take it quite that far. Maybe you just buy yourself a, a few hundred thousand dollar house and you don't go crazy with it and you ration the money out. You don't have to live in a shack. Well, that's kind of this energy. It's, fear is a good thing unless you let it control you. If you control your fear of things, you will be objective when things come in. Okay? So, th again, there's an energy of something coming towards you that you should definitely allow a little bit of fear to come in, it'll make your senses sharp, right? Nothing will get past you. 
No one will be able to fool you. You won't, you won't have someone take advantage of you or something along those lines. It just keeps coming up that way. Fear is good unless you're not controlling it. And we talked about that. I remember now you had the chariot yesterday. The chariot coming out of the mist. Right? I told you at the end, I said, control those horses. Control that chariot. Yeah. Control that fear. Definitely. Control it. it, it'll, it it's your friend. It, it, it's your friend. Fear is good. It's, it's only not good if it gets out of control. All right. Just like a campfire is good. It's good. You can cook your food. You can keep your feet warm. But if it gets out of control, it's no longer a campfire. Now there's helicopters and super tanker planes flying over trying to put it out. And you end up on the news. All right. Same thing. Same energy, actually. Uh, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Fear is definitely, definitely a hot energy. I can tell you that. Um, queen of Pentacles crossing it. Yeah. Uh, no, you, again, there's an energy. You're the Queen of Pentacles. All right. You're the Queen of Pentacles. And yeah, you are separate from this. Again, you're, you're a slice of blueberry pie. Uh, it is. I don't know why that's happening. I have no idea. But there's some kind, I told you in your March reading, there's some kind of incredible destiny for my Sagittarians out there. It's, it's something, the it, universe has it hidden. It's like a goddamn surprise party. I can't get in. Universe just telling you, this, this queen right here, she has everything she needs. She's perfectly fine. But, you know, she controls all her space, her energy, right? She's the Kung Fu master. Kung Fu masters control their space. They control the energy around them, right? So when people are throwing punches and stuff, it's like, it's slow motion for them. They just, yeah, whatever, cool, just block, parry that away, done. What's on top? Queen of Wands. Ah, uh, why is the Queen of Wands here? Seven of Wands. See this? See? Keeping at bay, right? See, you, you, see, you, you see what he's doing? Well, that's why this is here. Again, um, there's something coming towards you that's very good, that may seem very attractive. You may not want to hear this. I don't really give a shit what you want to hear. I'm just reading the energy. Something's coming towards you that may seem very attractive, but there's something else behind it that's better. So make sure you hold back a little bit. All right, Keep it at bay. All right. Say you'll think about it. Stall for some time while you have a chance to assess it. All right. That's it. Do what you want to do. Make your own decisions. I'm just reading the energy. All right. That's it. All right. Capricorn. Back to the soulmate cycle. Now, now back to the cherry pie. Uh, five of Pentacles. Um, somebody's very sad here that uh, you two aren't more than you are. I think they're going to come in from out of the cold. I think I will, re I will reiterate for Capricorn here. I think you, you've got some communication coming, coming. All of your people feel like they missed out on something. It's, all, it's only whether they come in or not is a question of whether they will admit it to themselves because there's a lot of ego in play on the runner's side. They have to admit something that diminishes that ego a little bit, which is they got it wrong. And that's, that's hard for a lot of people. In our society today, that energy is rare. If you meet someone who will admit they were wrong or say they don't know something, you've met a rare person in our societal energies today because it's, it's, a lot of, it's all just ego energy. Empathy is really hard to find. It really is. Uh, why is the uh, Five of Pentacles here? I put up blocks when I go out in public. I don't even like it. Going to malls is tough for me. I'm just in another world while I'm there. Here we go. Five of Pentacles. Any, anywhere there's a crowd, I don't like it. Uh, it's crossed by the Hierophant. Yeah. Um, what they are upset, and this applies to everyone, but I'm reading on the Capricorn angle, a angle 10 here. Um, what they're what they feel like, what, what they're sad that they missed out on with you is you could have been the one. You were the one. Can I phrase it like that? Everyone kind of knows what I mean, right? I'm getting kind of lifetime movie there a little bit, but you're the one. Long-term energy here. Very deep connection. What's on top? And they blew you off, right? There's, there's my boy in blue. Should have been banging the little blonde. That's you, right? I don't care what color your hair is. That's you, right there. They blew off something that could have been long-term, and now they feel the spiritual nature of this, right? Now they feel it. And they want a second crack at it, the fool. That's why, that's why this is here. In one layer of energy, they, he, they were a fool. 
and another layer of energy somebody here is taking a leap of faith I told you I said this is probably communication it probably is all right somebody here is well aware of the depth of this connection that they have with you um, and that's what they're sad that they missed out on because they were a fool I'll take it literally in, in, in the surface energy that's exactly why the fool came out why is the four of cups here the fool they were foolish there's also in the primary energy here somebody coming towards you uh, Aquarius seven swords mm -hmm. I want to say somebody's lying to you mm. um, but I can't I can't fully say that I don't know let's find out why is the seven swords here I gotta switch decks look at that Look at that intuition on fire. Why is it, I need a fresh deck? Why is the seven of swords here? Universe like you're not going to get anything out of the witches, Steve. I'm like, okay, fine. I got a, I got all kinds of decks here. I got a new deck I'm breaking in right now. I do. I don't I don't know what it's called. It's got some nice pictures on it. Seems to resonate with me well. It's got writing on it though. I don't I'm going to ignore that. I'll, I'll scratch it all off. <laughs> Why is the Seven of Swords here? I don't need no writing. All right, here we go. Four of Swords. Um, I still don't know. Well, I'm being honest. Seven Pentacles. I'll know in a minute. What, what What's on top? The Chariot? Why is the Chariot here? The Death card. You got one more thing. This applies to all of you. This has been coming up in the readings. There's one little thing from your past that you, one little speck of energy that you refuse to look at. Didn't this come up in a reading? Did it? I don't know. Uh, it should have if it didn't. There's something. Um, it's from a, it's like, it almost feels like it's, it's something. Sometimes we carry things in from a past life. This applies to all, anyone who's a DF here, okay? in this Aquarius angle. All right, because Saturn is just leaving Aquarius here this week. And as it leaves, it leaves with one more little thing, one more little gift. All right, it applies to everybody it coming up in the Aquarius angle for a reason. Sometimes from past lives, there's a little thing that carries over. And that little thing, it bounces around inside our energy in this life and it affects how we make decisions. It affects uh, who we go for. The things we go for, the things we think about ourselves, the energies that, uh, that are attracted to us and all of that. It's a problem. It's a bit like going to the doctor and they say they got, well, you got this thing here. It's not really going to kill you, but we should probably take it out because it might get bigger. So you have elective surgery. You say, okay, fine. You can go ahead and take it out. Just don't kill me, motherfucker. Okay, fine. Yeah, you know, it's, it's sort of like that. Um, the universe is saying that's that's part of what truth is coming to you here during this phase part of your lesson for all of you DFs you showed up here in the weekly reading all right that little energy is being removed and I think it, it removes sort of the uh, it removes the weights from the trunk of your car that have been holding back maybe making you make the wrong decisions go in the wrong direction it's something that creates an illusion that where you see things deceptively things that you thought were going to be great aren't really that great all that kind of thing so anyway it's being removed it's gone there's a there's a rebirth of you that's coming into play it applies to Aquarius but it applies to everybody all right once that's removed everything changes and I think this energy is a lot of why Virgo's energy is coming out the way it is and why Scorpio is coming out the way it is etc um, I think I think those that definitely is playing out there for sure all right so very interesting I like that. It feels like to me it's carryover from a past life. It's not this lifetime. It's something, it's again, it's that truth I was talking about that finds you. You don't find it. All right. It will be revealed to you. And the universe kind of, it should be pretty easy to take care of. It's not reflecting as a devil. It's reflecting as mild deception energy. It's something that kind of skews things. I wish I could give an example. I can't really think of one right now. But it's, it's, it's a bit like a mirror that lies, you know. A mirror that lies where you step up in front of it and you look 
fabulous in it and, and in reality and then you know or you look bad in it maybe you know it makes bad things look good and good things look bad it's a mirror that lies so you'll be able you'll, you'll you're getting some corrective lenses here a little bit it could be glasses that lie would be another good analogy I don't know it's a it's a bit like that um, this is very common this this type of energy carry over from past life that comes in it's very common I, I pick up on it sometimes. I see it a lot in people who are negative. People who, you see it in extreme cases with what the internet would call trolls and people like that. Um, they've got, again, that's where it's been allowed to fester. It's a negative energy, so it feeds itself. And it's just, they've never gone on a spiritual journey, obviously, because they're a troll. You know, and, and it festers inside them. And it, and it skews everything. It skews how they see everything. They're also very prone if, if, if this is allowed to continue and grow and fester, you become prone to conspiracy theories and things like that. Um, a lot of this is being taken care of, okay? And definitely, this is much smaller within you, if you're watching here. It's something that, that's easily dealt with. Pisces, a story began over here. And since that was for all of you, I harped on it, okay? That's, that's for everybody that's a DF here on the non-runner side in general. Uh, Pisces, three of pentacles. You've got an, I don't know, I, I remember, I remember your monthly reading. You've got somebody coming in here. You've got somebody coming in wanting to build something with you. Um, somebody you haven't heard from in a while. But I think, I think your vision for the future and theirs might differ. I think this is somebody you, much like I told you in your monthly reading that you, you don't, that you've already written off and you've already gone in a new direction for some of you. Um, I, I, th I think they're just showing up out of nowhere. And I do think that you already started building your new mountain. I think their mountain is different. Okay? I don't know. We'll see. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why? It's crossed by the Three of Wands. We can't get rid of that Three of Wands, huh? Somebody sees you as something they have to have. Okay? I don't know. Something that they lost. Something that they could have had. They see you as something. He's got to have. He's got to have what's on that ship. All right, got to. All right, what's on top? Five of Cups. But for you, I think it's already. Again, this is somebody like I told you in the monthly reading that you've already written off. I think this is already over. That the damage has already been done here. And this person, this this person's not invited on this ship necessarily. You figure you're safe. Your your ship is is anchored out here in the middle of the water. How could somebody possibly just show up? I think they do. And I I think you know again you've already written this off. I think this is kind of your reaction to it. It's like really now you know it's like that. And yet we had to draw a top on her. I'm sorry. All right. What well, I would I would think I know my two fish Pisces. I know you're not wearing a top. Okay, um, let's just make that clear. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Hermit. Yeah, you're you're past this. Okay, you're already on a journey, a new journey, a journey, a journey of your soul. So you do what you want. I'm not discouraging you from going for this person, but I think there's an air of disappointment when I think that's the case for a lot of you. A lot of you have grown a lot, and you're taking care of old, ancient karma here. Okay? A lot of you have grown quite a lot. And, and again, it's up to you what you do with these runners when they come in. But I think a lot of the liberation and a lot of the freedom is, is, it lives in the contrast that you get to see when these runners actually show back up. I think those are the ones where you learn a lot. You, see, you, you actually get to see in comparison to someone else how far you've come right how much different you are so that's that's basically what that's saying i'm going to grab a fresh deck and have the universe add up this massive pile of energy here this is a very interesting week of readings and i think as we go forward through the year right but with a lot with everything that's setting up this month i think a lot of the readings are going to be more shifted in a lot of ways toward what's going on for you uh, like I said, I said at the beginning of the year, the readings this year, all bets are off. We're going to start seeing new soulmates coming in and things like that. A lot of the main readings, yeah, the runners will still show up for those that are still waiting. But, but for some of you, it's, it's talking about 
new energies coming towards you. There'll be other energies that come in. And I'm starting to see them creep in. The universe has been setting it up. It's been wanting to talk about the DFs a lot. You know, and I've been opening my extendeds a lot of times talking about you because your energy is so strong. It's so there, right? Let's have the universe add this up. I got the little animal deck. See what it has to say. Give me three cards and a bottom card. Universe, add all this up the week of March 5th through the 11th, 2023. What do we got? What's going on here? What's it all mean? What actions they likely to take? The bottom card is eight swords. Does that surprise anybody? That ties to exactly what I told uh, Libra. It's an eight swords crossed by an eight swords that's building up momentum like Superman spinning the bad guy around and getting faster and faster and faster and faster and then letting him go, right? It's a bit like that. And, and I think the same thing applies here. I think because this card came out here, I think some of you might be surprised that a little child, a little page shows up to talk to you dressed in a knight's costume. And you guys have grown. You're like, your response to it is like, eh, I, I put a top on for this. You know, it's like that. It's a bit like that. And un underneath it here is the four swords. That backs it up. The, I, the, the universe hasn't got another eight swords to give me. So it gave me the next best thing. Because in Libra, it was eight swords crossed by eight swords. It gave me eight swords crossed by four swords. Somebody needs to heal this. Somebody needs to stop. There comes a point where the momentum builds up. And I think a good number of them do show up. I do. At some point here. I think it's surprising to a lot of you as well. Surprise the fuck out of me if Cancer's person does. Yep. Knight of Pentacles. There it is again. It's taking a while. Center card. Eight cups. Is eight cups is crossed by the eight swords. Somebody coming toward nine cups. Somebody walking toward their nine cups. And man, has it taken a spell for that to happen. Holy crap. What's red with the Knight of Pentacles? The Five of Pentacles. And again, it's for reasons that I don't necessarily like. Okay? I don't necessarily like someone showing up to my party because they feel like they were missing out on something. Right? You said you didn't want to come. You said, I don't want to go to your party, Steve. And now you show up because you heard it and you, uh, from a block over and you think, oh, I'm missing out on something. There's all kinds of things going on over there. Now I want to go. No! I'm standing at the door going, no, 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 no. You said you didn't want to come to the party. You don't just show up now because, oh, it, it turns out it's good. You thought it was going to suck. And that's a direct analogy for what's happened here. You've got a bunch of runners who thought you were going to suck, who convinced themselves, no, I don't want this, I, I, I don't want this, and now they're picking up on your energy. They're just, as, as the Twin Flame Journey reading, the last one I did showed us, they're focused on that Empress energy. Even the bird knows, and he a Pisces, okay? And now he's 20 years old, so he's very wise, isn't he? He's very wise, Pisces, at that, right? I'm right, aren't I? He just shook his head, yes. You just have to take my word for it. He did. That said, you know, they, 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 you know, now there's this fear of missing out energy. I don't, you know, it took them a long time to figure out they were missing out something. They should have felt it right off the top. So when they come in, they better not suck. And Bird agrees again, right? I am spot the fuck on here. All right? Ain't got time for no little page. All right? You guys are reflecting as hermits. You're ref that's the soul energy. That's your old soul awake. A lot of wisdom. So, yeah, of course they're in their head. They're nervous as fuck to come talk to you. They are. But they're learning some lessons here, and that's good. But you're, you're, I know, I know. But you're advancing, too. So keep that in mind. And I will repeat what I always tell you, because a good teacher repeats things. Right? And Saturn will keep repeating lessons over and over again as it flows through Pisces. I'll tell you that. Uh, I will repeat one more time. Never lower your vibration for anyone. Don't, don't, never take a step back. All right? That's, that's what I'm saying. That said here, you do what you want with them when they show up. But they're going to have to open up. Or you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna end up like this. E eventually down the road. You're right. You might have a might have a couple of good bangs with them, but if, if it's not someone who can open up at the level you require, you just end up like this. It ends up in in an energy of despair. Love that's not reciprocated is despair, not love. All right. So keep that in mind. I know. I'm right. 
I don't, I don't always need the reinforcement. All right. Anyway, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned tomorrow for the full moon reading. And then uh, probably on Tuesday, I'll pull Saturn. I want to pull right on top of it. All right. That is, that is your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Do you have anything else to say? No, now he's quiet. That's it. He's mad at me because I picked on him over here with the fool card about his extra weaning. Yeah, well, that's him for you. All right, good luck.